The combination of the evidence leading to these overall classifications is shown here. A group one classification, carcinogenic to humans, is based on either sufficient evidence of cancer in humans or a combination of sufficient evidence of cancer in experimental animals and strong mechanistic evidence in exposed humans. A group 2A classification, probably carcinogenic to humans, is based on two streams of evidence, at least one of which is in humans or human cells. For example, limited evidence of cancer in humans plus either sufficient evidence of cancer in experimental animals or strong mechanistic evidence. Another way to reach group 2A is with sufficient evidence of cancer in experimental animals and strong mechanistic evidence in human cells or tissues. Lastly, group 2A may be reached based on mechanistic class considerations if there is a structurally and toxicologically similar chemical already in group 1 or group 2A. A group 2B classification possibly carcinogenic to humans, is based on only a single stream of evidence, either limited evidence of cancer in humans or sufficient evidence of cancer in experimental animals or strong mechanistic evidence. A group 3 classification, not classifiable as to carcinogenicity to humans, is based on a situation where there is sufficient evidence of cancer in experimental animals but also strong mechanistic evidence that the mechanism does not operate in humans. All other situations not listed above would also lead to a group three evaluation. 